In today's video, we're going to look at the uses of X-rays and gamma rays, which have the shortest wavelength and the highest frequency of all the electromagnetic waves. If we start with X-rays, their main use is to help us view the internal structure of objects, including our own bodies. The typical X-ray machine like you get in a hospital, works by firing x-rays through a person's body and recording the ones they get through using a detector plate. This works because x-rays will be absorbed by dense materials like bones, but will be able to pass straight through the parts that are mostly air, like our lungs and intestines, and they'll only pass partially through the fleshy parts like our heart. One of the odd things with X-ray images though, is that the images start off completely white and only go black if that area of the detector plate receives radiation. So it's actually the dense areas like bone that appear white, while pretty much everything else is either black or a shade of gray. We use X-rays to detect broken bones and other diseases. And although they do give the person a small amount of radiation, which can be harmful, it's generally such a low dose that it's worth taking the risk. It's also a very quick and cheap test. The danger is much higher for the staff involved though. And so they generally wear lead aprons to stop the x-rays and leave the room when the x-rays are being fired. Now we cover in another video that gamma rays can be used in medical imaging and used to treat cancer in a process known as radiotherapy. In this video though, we're gonna concentrate on how gamma rays can be used to sterilize things, and in particular, medical equipment and food. The reason they're so useful for sterilization is that gamma rays can kill microorganisms without causing any other damage. For medical equipment, the other option would be to use boiling water to boil the equipment and kill any harmful microbes in the high temperatures. This works pretty well, but it can't be used all the time because some materials like plastic might get damaged as they melt slightly. Gamma rays though don't do any damage at all. And so there's no risk of damaging the equipment. This is the same reason that we can use it to sterilize food. It kills all of the harmful microbes without altering the food in any way. And so it keeps all of our food fresh for longer because there's no microorganisms left to start breaking it down. And it's still perfectly safe to eat. Whenever we use X-rays and gamma rays in medicine, we always have to consider a trade-off. Both of them are types of ionizing radiation, which can damage our cells, and in rare cases, lead to cancer. However, they also help us to diagnose and treat diseases, so it's often worth the risk. It just means that we have to weigh up the pros and cons for each individual case. If you haven't heard yet, you can find all of our videos on our website, cognito.org. You'll also find questions, flashcards, exam style questions, and past papers. And we track all of your progress so that you always know what to study next. So sign up for free by clicking here or browse our playlist here on YouTube.